Hey friends, on today's episode, I'm going to take you on a tour of my kitchen. Stay tuned. One of the first things I did when I moved into my house 12 years ago was paint the kitchen walls. And the walls were like a golden color and it wasn't really attractive because I have kind of pumpkin colored natural pine floors. And so I decided I would paint the walls a glossy black. And I didn't want to have it a chalkboard look, so that's why I went with a gloss. But I actually had a friend who dared me to paint my walls black, because we had done tons of home tours where people had black rooms and we were just mesmerized by it. And so because I have so much light in my kitchen, so many windows and they're tall, um, and I knew I could get away with this doing black. Here um, is where I mainly have my office. You're always gonna see a computer there, probably some to eat and a notebook, but I do most of my work from here because it's very inspiring to me. This settee was one of the first big pieces that I actually um, upholstered. And on this settee, I chose this really bright paisley print that in pink and I went with a black, um, it's just a vinyl seat because it's very, very durable. And I am so happy that I did. This is one of my most favorite pieces. And believe it or not, this pink pattern goes with almost everything that I do. Now I did just a little makeover here in this kitchen area. I added different pillows. Um, these larger pillows are an embroidered um, butterflies on them. It was actually a rug that I got from overseas and I had it cut up into pillows, which I really love. And I decided to go ahead and add the green little plaid check. I went with these colors is because my chairs and I just reupholstered some new chairs for this space. It has beautiful dahlia flowers on it. It has some of that green in it and it's a little brighter green, some darker greens. I thought it was really pretty. And so I wanted to tie in the green to this space as well. Just recently, I bought this cute little rug and this rug is actually from Kim Parker. She designed it and she's been clearing out her warehouse of all her beautiful textiles and rugs. And I was able to snatch this one up. It's so much fun. It's small, but it's perfect for my little nook here where I do most of my work and I'll eat my breakfast here and probably my lunch too. I want to add a little pizzazz to your kitchen. Use a little bit of wallpaper and what I decided to do was add it here to the side of where my refrigerator is on these cabinets. I love this wallpaper. It comes from Anthropology. It has beautiful pinks in it, you know, a really gorgeous blue kind of a cerulean blue. It has some of these purples in it that ties to my settee, um, to the rug and to the pillows that I have there. Um, and it just adds the great little pop of color without it being too much. So another reason why I knew I could go with black on the walls of my kitchen is because all of my cabinets are white. And because of that, it brings a lot of light into the area. Um, the countertops are just a black granite, so it's very standard. This has been around. They built the house 20 years ago, and I absolutely love it. Um, it kind of gives a little bit of glam to the space. Now up in the cabinets up above, um, I regularly change out what I have displayed up there. I added a little bit of string lights to light it up. And uh, these lights can change colors if I want them to. They can blink. <laughs> they can be very festive. But when I get up early in the morning and it's dark, all I do is just flip on those lights. It's a little remote control that I have. And those lights cost me like $29 on Amazon. It was the best money that I've spent in here. Okay, so let me show you a little bit about the glasses that I really love. Um, just this past year, I got a set of glasses. These are from Mexico. They have a hint of green to them, but they're mainly clear. And these are etched by artisans in Mexico. So I got about 10 or 12 of these for Christmas last year. That's what I asked for. 
uh, because we had always had a hod hodgepodge of different glasses. And something else that I really love are these hand-blown glasses that I bought in Maine when I went a little over a year ago. These are created by a husband-wife team. I got four short ones. They're all unique and all very different, and then four tall ones. And they just add so much fun. So if I want to have a fun drink, um, or even if it's a Topo Chico, I usually put them in these glasses and drink them with a straw. I really love that. So I love, love, love dishes, and my family's put me on a moratorium of buying any more dishes, but they know it's the thing that I love. So if they want to get me some I really want for my birthday or Christmas, it's going to be dishes. But in my cabinet here, I kind of have my Christmas dishes stored at the top. I bring those down during the holidays. But I have other dishes up here I don't use as much unless I'm having a party or I need to stage uh, for photos. But these are some Martha Stewart dishes that I've had for a long time. Another set of Martha Stewart bowl bowls that I got at Macy's. These are Kim Parker's um, uh, dishes. I really love them. And then I have some Pioneer Woman. She has some really fun bowls and such. Um, and again, I have a lot of plates. So this is from Kim Parker. These are my everyday plates. I have some melamine ones from Anthropology as well. And I have some of these that I got last year. And these are from Francesca K. Um, and they're really fun, um, so I really love these also. The best deals that I got at, um, because I love going to antique shops and used shops, up in Dallas, I happened to find a set of dishes. And these were created right after World War II in Japan. They're hand painted, and I got a set of eight big dishes and eight smaller ones. And these I got for 50 bucks for the whole set. I mean, what a great deal. Countertop, um, I've gone like with canisters before. Sometimes I have a, a old wooden box. I mean, that's what I'm doing right now because I want to add a little bit of wood to dress down the space. So I'm constantly changing what I do. I have some of my favorite cookbooks here. Here's one from the newest one from Jen Hatmaker. Um, I have the Southern Entertainers Cookbook from Courtney Whitmore. And I have Celebrate with Babs. She's one of my favorite favorite people. If you got to look her up on Instagram. She's fantastic. Um, so I keep my cookbooks out here so they're easy to access and use. I bought this bowl when I was in San Antonio last year. I just happened to be in an artisan store and saw it and I thought that is so unique. I can't find that anywhere else. And so I just had to have it. And it was only like $60 and it's super heavy and large. I keep all my veggies and fruit in here so they're easy to grab and it also makes for a nice display for my island. Final new pieces that just got put in my kitchen this week is my brand new chandelier. This one is created in San Miguel, Mexico by Stray Dog Designs. It is amazing and spectacular. The artisans down there make it using paper mache and I ordered this very bright magenta color. And they come in all shades. You can even do custom shades of colors if you want, but this one really caught my eye. I knew it would go with my wallpaper that I have in this space and also with the settee, the cushions, and the rug. I hope you enjoyed this tour of my kitchen. I would love to know what your kitchen looks like and do you use it constantly as a palette to express your creativity like I do. Please let me know in those comments below. And if you like this episode, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Until next week, friends, I'm going to have another makeover for you. I'll see you then.